What's up people of the internet, it's Paris here with yet another video. In this video we'll be testing the Nvidia GeForce GTX 1050 Mobile which is a GPU based on the Pascal architecture. It has 640 kilo cores and 4GB of VRAM in our case. We're using the latest driver suite as for the making of the video. I found a wall seat using MSI Afterburner, you can see my curve here. This GTX 1050 Mobile is paired with the Intel Core i7-7700HQ which is a CPU based on the Kaby Lake architecture that has 4 cores and 8 threads and a frequency of up to 3.8 GHz. I found a volt set by minus 100 MV, you can see my total stop settings here. We also have 16 GB of RAM in dual channel mode, as well as a small SSD for the operating system and also which game is installed. As for operating system, we're using Windows Excite Optimum 10 Pro version 2. All the specs are in the video description. The game that we'll be benchmarking today is Power World. Shout out to the pro who requested it and let's get straight to the points now. If you want to play Power World at a lower resolution, by default, you have to do so at windowed mode. But if you don't want to play in windowed, then press your windows button and tap out of the game. Right click on your desktop and go to the display settings. From there, by lowering your desktop resolution, you can also lower the resolution of the game itself, without having to play in windowed. If the game isn't completely filling up the screen after lowering the desktop resolution, just press Alt plus Enter on your keyboard to fix it. And that's how to play Power World at lower resolutions in full screen.